I continue to learn about myself and I, you know, try to evolve. It's really about balance of life and, and work for me right now and I've gotten way better at doing that than I used to be when I was in my early 20s, just 90 to nothing, you know? And I've learned that I'm so much better friend, daughter, wife. I'm a better artist. I just am better at life when I give myself a little bit of a break. I think finding happiness and being at peace with yourself is, it's a long journey as we all know, but I've really gotten to a great place and I have an amazing husband and a beautiful farm outside of Nashville and, and we have a place in New York where we go visit my stepson and I, I feel like I want to make sure I make time for all those spaces and those moments that I just mentioned because it's the most important thing. Country music is what I do and what I love and it's a huge part of my life. but. If anything I learned in the last couple of years, it's not who I fully am. And so I think learning that and spending a lot more time doing life stuff and with my husband and my friends and family has been um, super high on the priority list. You know, I used to make goal lists, you know, lists of goals for this year or next year, whatever, or, or decades. We will sit down and brainstorm about that stuff, but I've noticed my, my goal list when I start to make them are a lot more life oriented than they ever were, you know, when it used to just really lean hard on career side. And I think a lot of that comes with just, you know, I've done it for a long time now and um, and I've really hit most of the goals I set. So that's a really cool place to be. I'm very blessed for that. My husband and I were pretty much newlyweds when the world shut down and so, I mean, it was actually a huge blessing in our relationship. We got to just spend some really good time together. like not running crazy, not on the road. You know, he jumped right into this lifestyle and was, he's a very positive person and gung-ho for anything, but it was really nice to just spend, we spent most of it out at my farm to an hour from Nashville and I mean, taking a New Yorker straight to the woods for like a year, <laughs> there was a learning curve, but then it was really a great time to spend and, and um, we spent a lot of time with friends and family during that time as well and so, I'm really thankful for that. I, I don't think I ever would have taken that time had I not been forced to. Once I ref, I'm refreshed and have a break, like I start rolling on a million other ideas and I did, I wrote three records and um, you know, I, I have a lot going on, but, I, but I'm glad to be busy and that it all starts with the music. I mean, that the records have led to all these other opportunities, especially in this season right now. I don't, I was telling my manager the other day, it's like it kicked into high gear. I'm on tour, I have the Vegas residency, everything's happening at once, but I think that, um, you know, that I feed off the energy because my art led us here, and that was my whole goal to start with when I was, you know, a little girl. So I feel very blessed and lucky, even though I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> That's it. I'm still working on my list of like professional goals for the next decade. I kind of like to do like a this year trajectory and then like a 10 year trajectory. That's kind of how like I work with my team. And um, I haven't completed that yet. I, I think Vegas is something that I didn't have on my goal list, but it should have been. I like missed it. And so, because now that, it, that I have the residency, I feel like that's definitely a place where I want to be landing right now. And so I'm really excited about that. Um, and I got to write a song called Y'all Means All for Netflix for um, Queer Eye, which I loved. And so more of that probably is, is on my list, like sort of like, you know, being commissioned to write for this specific thing. It was really fun and it was a challenge. LGBTQ community is so important to me and I would have been louder about it if I knew I could do better before I was as loud as I was, but I had a song called All Kinds of Kinds a long time ago. I mean, I, it's, it's always been part of my journey and my story and because my brother and his husband have taught me so much about, about well, just learning, you know, about what, what's cool, what's not cool and, and teaching me more about people. I mean, All Kinds of Kinds in general is the way we should live because that's just, this is my, this is my favorite moment of my show is when we all just like put our hands up in there and sing that song. So when the Y'all Means All opportunity came, it was just another moment for me to get to speak out about something that I really care about and that if I can help somebody by doing so, of course I want to. I'm all about friendly, warm, and cozy. You know, I have kind of a um, 
chaotic life at times with just travel and all of the things that I have going on. So I want my personal spaces to feel very cozy, but still inspiring and um, also fun. Wanda June is a home goods line. Um, we are launching with Walmart and it is based on memories, really. That's how the whole thing started. Um, but it's named after my mom, Beverly June Lambert, and my grandmother, Wanda Louise Coker. I think the train of thought for Wanda June started with something you could pass down um, because my mom and I are both like obsessed with China and my mom and I both have pieces of my grandmother's China from both sides and so um, and cute little drinkware and like things that really mean something you know um, tablecloths and tablewares um, that our grandmothers had on their tables and their grandmothers had. There's some sugar and spice in this home goods line but that's because that's sort of who I am as a person and as a as a brand of my own, and so I feel like it should reflect in all of my spaces and all of the brands that, that I'm part of. I think the common thread is like, you feel like you can walk in any space that, that you know, my homes, any of our places, and and like kick off your shoes and make a drink. Like, it's very welcoming. I think I, and I get that from my mom and from my grandma. Like, y'all come in and sit a while and here's a crown and coke at one o'clock in the afternoon like you know it's just kind of the way I grew up and so I try to reflect that in my own personal spaces. Living the gypsy life for me I guess that's what I call it I mean I'm either on a bus or I'm in my airstream you know I just can't get out of my system people are like what are you gonna do on your I took a summer month off this year because I never ever do and I always get the boring months off and I'm like can I just have a sunshiny month off this would be great so I'm getting off tour like first of July I'm out of here I'm going <laughs> taking my camper but that's just you know I think that's also what comes with having um, a husband who is like very willing to just like go and do and experience life and it's good for me because normally when I'm off the road I'm like kind of a homebody because I'm tired of travel but it's like my only opportunity to get to do something that's like I always say, I've been touring for 20 years and I've, I've been everywhere and I've seen nothing. <laughs> a lot of parking lots, that's what I see. So I'm just like trying to use my downtime to really experience life.